and this is the sad story of modern world you see we have no connection for what we are doing and we are all made to believe that this is the science so how can i cure a patient who is diabetic who is cancer who has migraine who has unless i change the food so i need to find a food not drugs if i find drugs i will make you addicts and that's what is the world is all of now all are drug addicts you may be bp drug addict diabetes drug addict steroid drug addict this all are addicts you're all addicted to something or the other and that's what this economic model wants you all have to be addicted to something or the other so i can keep selling that this is the bottom line in the corporate language so you are all there you are fixed i use the word fixed in many dimensions you are all fixed fixed on drugs fixed on addictions and so you keep going round and round and round so that's why you are all becoming sicker and sicker and sicker you see the futile processes that you are being running around so you want to become healthy please look around look differently think out of the box the box is not right here comes the wonderful grains ha huh, here so what do we do we need to change the grain the food that can release glucose slowly and steadily instead of flooding the blood and that mechanism god has created in this wonderful five grains so all this bashing that i have done bear with me i don't have any intention of scolding anyone but this is the mistake the whole human race has done so if we want to get out of this deadlock we need to think differently we need to do things differently so if we continue in the same cycle nothing will happen so you see the sugar don't think there is no carbohydrate in the grains that i am proposing to eat this is 76 this is 69.7 70 so enough of carbohydrate is there not that there is not enough but the difference is you have along with that fiber enriched i use the word enriched enriched means not more just enough to do the job so many people think that when i say siridhanya it has high fiber no it is doesn't have high fiber it has enough fiber it is the right fiber right amount of fiber so 60 grams to 8 grams 65 grams to 95 9.8 and this corle called brown top millet has got 12.5% and how is it arranged what if this 12.5% fiber just like rice if it is on the upper layer then when you dehusk it you will lose that also so there is no use so that means something else has to be done so what does god do he starts arranging the fiber from the center into layers the concentric circles so different layers so you have the fiber and the carbohydrate fiber and the carbohydrate fiber and the sugars entangled interlinked in a complex and complicated fashion that is the distribution of fiber and so now when i eat this grain i don't get my glucose suddenly because i need to get rid of this fiber and release the glucose into my body slowly and steadily and that's what exactly what happens when you eat 100 grams of brown top millet it takes 8 hours to release the glucose into your blood what does it do it does step by step quantum by quantum so in aliquots in small quantities 3 grams 5 grams 4 grams so even if i grind this grain make a flour the 
carbohydrate and the fiber is not separated. Only your digestive process can remove that. But then to do that, you need to make the process easy. If you just eat like that, the fiber does not get separated. It has to be soaked with water. Only soaking, after absorbing a lot of water, the fiber starts expanding and gets ready to be digested. So now the problem for all of us is Amitabh Bachchan has come for the last 20 years. No mother is needed, no father is needed. Two minutes, noodles. <laughs> so all kids can go and put this in hot water and make noodles ready. Thumba <laughs> chanagide. And this is the image this great Amitabh Bachchan has given the whole India. And now why kids? Navu Tintivi. So all people stopped cooking properly. They are all quick food. A two minutes only ready. I have no time. Mahindra Tech closes the gate. Run, run, run. <laughs> so everyone stopped cooking. Two minutes cooking has come into work. And on top of it, MTR, Mayas, oh, this packet, that packet. Two minutes instant pulyogre, two minutes, all these food technologies, food processing, oh, big industry, big industry. So all these machines come into picture. They forgot what they are cooking, as I said, no. <laughs> they don't know what they are cooking, but they are cooking. They don't know what they are doing. So you cannot cook things two minutes with these grains. You got to soak them. Soak, even if it is flour, you have to soak. So, roti madve kandrunu, with the wheat and the rice, you don't need to soak. You can just cook because it's just carbohydrate, pista, nothing else. But that doesn't work here. So, you need to get back to the real cooking methods. That means you soak in the night, it will take generally six to eight hours of soaking to make the fiber release itself, get prepared to cook. Then it gets cooked in five to ten minutes, even in the mud pot you can cook. So you need to learn how to, many people uh, in the initial stages I used to say, take the thing and eat, because if you eat first, you know, then you get something. So earlier in my lectures, first maybe 2011, 2012, I used to say, soak them for half an hour because if I tell you have to soak for eight hours oh this mad fellow is just no one will even listen to me so initially I also did the trick of saying even if you soak half an hour the top part of it slowly releases but then you will have some stomach pain and then some small boils because if you eat uncooked fiber it starts hitting you hard but despite that you start feeling the benefits of it because the glucose doesn't run into your blood. So the body, the parts start getting the freedom of working on the real things. So when you see this is the sad story. Glucose is very much required for our living but then it becomes more it is the poison. In fact it starts disturbing your immunity. So a gram of sugar can put you back six months as far as your immunity is concerned. So Touching a gram of sugar makes you that much disease prone. So if you avoid sugar completely, zero sugar, I guarantee you can face dengue, pangu, chicken gunya, if I every day, no problem at all because the bone marrow is ready to face all these kinds of viruses. If you take sugar, you are in trouble because your body is not able to produce the antibodies that are required. You see the difference now? So the moment you don't take rice, sugar, wheat, and then how producing the meat and the eggs is another different dimension. They are making soya bean and corn, mix them, mix them with steroids and make the chicken, cows, pigs eat 16 hours a day and then the meat is produced. So the residues of all these chemicals in 100 grams of egg, you are consuming 8 times more chemicals compared to a kilo of vegetable or a kilo of rice or a kilo of wheat. So the chemicals start doing their dance in your body 
and then start disturbing your DNA and the cancerous conditions take place and especially the soya bean glyphosate which is used to make soya bean the herbicide is number one carcinogenic material so people are eating soya bean left and right and the cancer has been increasing wherever there is meat eating countries you have cancer more it's not because the meat the way we produce meat contains a lot of steroids even regular normal natural meat has a lot of steroids because body functions you need all these chemicals so if we load ourselves with the extra steroids our systems get imbalanced and that's why in fact literally people are getting imbalanced that's called Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and they are increasing in number in other countries especially meat eating countries you have Parkinson now 17% 18% Parkinson says you don't know who you are you start losing the balance of the nerves itself and your body starts dancing they have different names they don't have no control they, their hand keeps on shaking and shaking and shaking they don't know that it is shaking they cannot hold they cannot write they cannot sign all these very pathetic conditions we are getting into all these conditions can be reversed absolutely reversed in a matter of six months to two years if we change the conditions of the food so simple logical and very scientific method is to change our food rather than taking the tablet so who do you need to go around not doctors if you want health you need to go around people who can grow these grains and these grains traditionally are grown where there is no rain that means even just four rains can produce this grains 200 liters all that it takes to produce one kilo of these five grains and these grains are termed as neutral grains because of the ratio actually there is another table uh, which is to be supplied if you actually divide 60 by 8 65 by 9.8 you get it's all in single digits below 10 and if you do the same process here with these grains pearl millet to this is all about 25 so the ratio of fiber to carbohydrate in these five grains is below 10 and that's how it gives you health and all other grains are about 20 the ratio see take this pearl millet 67 by 1.2 so it's uh, almost around 35 or something like that and the same thing with wheat and you see 66 by almost 3 so it's around 23 if you do 60 by 8 the ratio is 8 approximately 7 point something and 70 by 12.5 is 5.5 for brown top millet so the lesser the ratio the health giving condition so what it actually means is that if you take this kind of grains this this will not cure your any disease so if you are diabetic if you eat ragi it will not cure your diabetes but if you eat only ragi and nothing else you will not invite disease but it will not cure you of any disease so this has no healing properties but it can maintain you that's why we call them neutral grains neither it takes you into positive domain or negative domain but you are already sick it cannot lift you up so most of us are now eating ragi and rice and wheat so you become sick only so this is zero value this is minus 100 these are plus 100 so now if you are in the minus you have to eat positive grains that's why we also termed as of positive grains which has got high fiber content I use the word high fiber content but it is the right fiber content for our body needs so many people many experts it's high fiber don't eat it's not high fiber but it is high fiber with relative relationship with these two grains see you have 0.2 grams and 8 grams it's almost 40 times more 
so it is high fiber that's what they call but i call them right fiber for us to do the job to release the glucose slowly and steadily into your blood so now the definition of food comes into picture what is the definition a food is one which releases glucose into our blood slowly and steadily in a balance and once we figured this out our health is in our hands so now if you eat all the time these grains even if you are sick your health comes back so this being the proposition i started searching for these grains and then went to different farmers and collected the seeds in fact we had hardly left these seeds and then i brought them and grew them large quantities and collected some 10 di this diabetes gangrene patients we gave them within 3 days this gangrene disappeared and once you have gangrene it is the job of doctors is to remove the legs your fingers and then supply them with artificial so it started the journey started and i don't know how many i have cured now i have no count it is thousands and thousands and thousands now it's gone to lakhs because people are not even coming to me i have been giving this and we have made books pdf and it is free you can go to google and download uh, it's in english it's in kannada it's in uh, telugu it's in hindi all all kinds of things and anyone can download free and then start eating these grains and you can feel the difference and it's a matter of 6 weeks everyone starts experience this health we are not talking about disease here we are talking about health your body is finding that health in the system because the glucose is not flooding your blood once that is not there the system is left free to function in all dimensions to clean up to maintain to do this to do that and all these organs end up doing their job properly you become healthy and that's the magic and i don't like the word magic because magic and miracle can be done once in a while but this is based on sheer science it doesn't matter you can line up lakhs of people follow these simple principles all the lack can be healed if they have time and many people are at the end stage they may die some of them may die because we may not be able to help with them enough time and we ended up curing so called cancer patients so called hiv patients so called sle patients so called multiple sclerosis so called brain tumors so called fibroids so called breast cancer so we listed different kinds of cancers different kinds of what kind of grains you need to eat because each grain has a different capacity so the fox tail cleans up that file is there different it is there you can go through fox tail does clean up your nervous system and lungs codomillet arca cleans up your blood and bone marrow barnyard cleans up your brain and liver and your brown top cleans up almost every part of your body especially the digestive system so you have anal cancer esophageal cancer stomach cancer the brown top comes into picture you have blood cancer codomillet comes into picture lung cancer your fox tail comes into picture so different organs are cleaned and maintained by different grains grains means basically it is the fiber the fiber is two kinds one is soluble fiber another is non soluble fiber so the soluble fiber is in the blood cleaning up all the systems the insoluble fiber is in the rectal area to the large intestine it coats that area and it becomes hydrophilic and starts absorbing the right nutrients and starts making things happen so you shit properly the first thing you do is you shit properly and the shit doesn't stick to your pan when you pour two tumblers of water it washes away if you eat rice wheat and other these materials the shit doesn't go away you need to end up throwing 15 buckets of water so that is the first and simple parameter you can look for you are becoming healthy you start using less water to clean your toilet 
and that is the most important thing needed for the future generation we have no water 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 is the same there is not a single drop more or single drop less on this planet and we have only got 3% of drinking water means potable water the real water the remaining all in the ocean and out of 3% 2.7% of the water is locked up in the south pole and north pole only 0.3% of water is available for all our activities out of which 0.2% is gone to make this meat and other agricultural produces so the scientists are not talking the real thing so it is this food that we are in quotes consuming all the water actually 66% of water is gone producing your sugar producing your meat producing your rice producing your wheat producing your eggs and we keep fighting for water because you are producing sugar cane 12 months you need to irrigate and to irrigate 12 months you need to put fertilizers to put one square place you have disease so you have pests and this is the business model so we are all made to believe that producing sugar cane producing banana how you know why banana is produced as i told you peg of wine banana drakshi all these are going towards producing liquor and in no worse 16% of the land is consumed by arachnid and tambaku tambaku is tobacco so in fact total agricultural land consumed by the human race 28% is to produce this nashe padartha addictive drugs in fact now the so called progressing state california removed and made a law that morphine can be sold now whole himalayan landscape is changed they are growing only marijuana see how we have changed so we are using 26% of our land to produce all these nonsensical methods on um, uh, materials that is sugar tambaku arachnid all this arachnid is used for the drug coating the raw material or the base material for all these drugs morphine codeine as if it is not enough we have what is called chocolate chocolate has got theobromine is another addictive chemical just like nicotine in cigarette caffeine in coffee and coffee tea is killer it is killing all the rivers so if you are all morning give coffee and tea mugs of coffee mugs of coffee you are cutting all the forest in the mountain and the ranges so the whole himalayan mountain range is gone for tea or tata tea tea or tea all teas all estates and our madikeri and all gone for coffee the same thing in brazil same thing in west every mountain range is completely occupied by tea and coffee and that's how the rivers are drying up so you are all drinking coffee and tea you are drying up our kaveri it has become perennial now it's no more um, jeevanadi not only our river the whole bloody story of all rivers is connected to coffee and tea and sugar to produce this we are drying up so i keep telling yelling please stop drinking coffee and tea it is killing both you and the planet you are being imbalanced hormonally and the system is getting imbalanced so you need to start thinking what we are eating is not just killing us killing all the animals on this planet if we just if we stop coffee and tea from tomorrow within 6 months the planet will be much better place to live can we do that no we cannot because we are addicted coffee is caffeine it will not stop ಏ ಏನಾದರೂ ಹೇಳಪ್ಪ ಕಾದ್ರೆ ನೀನು ನನಗೆ ಬೆಳಗ್ಗೆ ಎದ್ದು ಒಂದು ಕಾಫಿ ಲೋಟ ಬೇಕೇ ಬೇಕು ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ರಿಯಾಲಿಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅನ್ ಅಲ್ಕೊಲಾಯ್ಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎನ್ಸ್ಲೇವ್ಸ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಅಡಿಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಸೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಗೆಟ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಅದರ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹೊಂಗೆ ಪೊಂಗೀಮಿಯಾ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾ
which kashaya, you can come out of this addiction. Not only coffee addiction, alcohol addiction. Not only alcohol addiction, even drug addiction. Lot of people in the villages are all taking this pan paragi. Many techies are also doing that. Many, many. They have this pan, different, like this, put it in the mouth, smoke, drink, all the kinds of things. Addictions can be come out. There are three kashayas. Honge antivikanadadali, kanuga antare telgali, pongemia antare, pongemia, that kashaya, and then castor oil, aralubija, amudam antar telgo. So these, and tinospora, amruta bali antar. These three kashayas, weekly once you rotate and drink, you drink coffee, before drinking coffee you drink this kashaya. So after three to four weeks if you do this practice, you do not want to drink coffee anymore. Slowly and steadily, you can come out of these addictions. And in fact, alcoholics, drug addicts can do this. But the only requirement is you need to think to stop that. And if you don't want to stop, no one can help. Isn't it? So if you have the de-addiction in your mind, that is in your mind, who is addicted has to think that he has to stop, then it can be helped. You can help that person with this kashayams. Mungemia, Aradubija, that is castor oil leaf, and then Tinospora, that is Amrutabali. So like that, we have got around 40 to 50 kashayas to help at different conditions for special children. Autism, specially equipped children, attention deficit kids, hyperactive kids, all these are names for the young boys and girls born completely screwed up because of our food pattern. 28% of the kids are born in the world now completely deranged. It's all because of the food. So young girls and boys, if you want right kids, healthy kids, stop eating rice, wheat, milk, coffee, tea, all. Coffee tea is major reason for your nervous system to be screwed up. So if you don't want ADHD kids, Stop coffee and tea tomorrow. It will take six months to clean up your body. After that, you go for conception. Then you will have 100% of chance not having this ADHD kids. Otherwise, you have 28% of chance to get these kids. And these doctors say it is hereditary, this and that and all that. It's all bullshit. It's all the food that takes care of all these things. Hereditary, I look like my mother or I look like my mother's brother. That is hereditary. I, she got the joke. <laughs> so, there is no hereditary. Diseases are not hereditary. Only very, very few diseases are hereditary. All of it is made out of this food. If your food is right, no need of any medicine. And if your food is not right, no medicine will work. But then what are we doing? I'll go to naturopathy, I'll go to homeopathy, I'll go to allopathy, I'll do tatopathy. Tatopathy and ragotta nimga. Patila? Ucha madodo adana kudiyodo. Kaka madodo adana tinodo. They are doing that kind of experiments. Oh, your own shit, you have this, oh, you do this, do this. So, naturopathy hai tu, allopathy hai tu, homeopathy hai tu, tatopathy, yalla wa kelsa maanta, tirupathy kogi devra, tirupathy. All pathies, you will become draupathy, nothing else. So, where do you want to go? Go to the farmers. They are the ones who will give you health. But then we are running around hospitals and all this nonsense. No disease will be cured by for you. It's all they're managing. As I told you, management of all this MBBS, business management, laga, manage business medicine, business surgery. Absolutely, we are out of whack. And we all believe that we are advancing. Oh, I can show you your uh, brain, your tumor, this inch by inch, vernier calipers, oh, this much tumor is there, this much. Okay, it is there, I can see. What do we do with that? Is the question. 
Oh, I remove it. I will do chemotherapy. I will do this therapy. After six months, oh, it has spread to this. It is called metastasis. Oh, we don't understand. Meta means we don't understand. The whole bloody thing is a one thing. Where is to understand? From here to here it goes. The whole thing is connected. So what is the big deal to understand it? Am I right? So in the first place this tumor should not come. Even if it is there, how do we dissolve it? How do we reverse it? It is through the food you can reverse it. And that's what we have done. Umpteen number of patients, not one, two, three, to write a paper. But thousands of them have been cured. Thousands of gangrene cases, thousands of diabetic patients. HbA1c 12, they have got five. Back to five in a matter of six months. But then what hack? The problem is the system. We are not willing to let go. Oh, rice tintai developa, ishta divsa ne yakka bida do. You got to get out of it. Coffee is worse because you go to any Brahmin's house, you know, you tell them leave coffee, they'll just kill you. Just like go to Muslims and say stop eating meat, they'll just kill you. So, uh, Brahmin to be asked to get rid of coffee and a Muslim to be asked to get rid of meat is absolutely the same. So difficult. But then it is getting rid of this so-called food is what is health all about. Can we do that? It is a tough task because the system has to change. And who will change? Who will change? We are the ones who are in it. So we, no one will come and change it. We need to change things. We need to work at it. So all you guys want to eat millets, then the farmers will produce millet. And then if you just say I want to eat millet, that actually is good enough. Because you are all ordering in Amazon and say pizza, burger, noodles. Then who will eat millets? Then if you don't order them, after a few years, the seed cannot germinate. The seeds can germinate after six months to three years. And then after six, seven years, they lose their capacity to germinate. So now if there is no recycling of this germinating materials over a period of time, you will lose all the seeds and that's what has happened. The world has lost wonderful diversified food materials in the last 15 to 20 years. But there were no seeds. In fact, that's called foxtail millet. Corralu is called foxtail millet. It's an Italian millet. All over Italy people are eating foxtail millet. And then Borneal millet is called Japanese millet and German millet. Just 150 years ago, the whole Germany was eating this grain. And Andu Korralu, Korle, brown top millet is American millet, for your kind information. They were eating this, now they are feeding the birds. And they are eating these stupid things. And if they are stupid, following them, what are we becoming? We are becoming idiotic. That's all that is happening. They are fools, we are idiots. Nothing else. So, here I stand and tell that this is the food that you want. And I am not asking you to just believe me. Just six weeks. Whether you, whatever disease you have, I care two hoots about it. You write down. Cancer, gangrene, HIV, SLE, is some syndrome, Groves, Zir syndrome, R syndrome. Because if they don't, they write some syndrome, you know, all syndromes. <coughs> Close the envelope, eat six months to two years, depending upon what problems you have. Many, 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 thousands are reporting. Within six weeks, they start feeling the difference. And I tell them, wait, wait. And in fact, on YouTube, you know, YouTube eye pickers, they keep giving titles all <laughs> out of the world titles. In one day your stomach will go down. In two days you are all right like that. Don't believe all that. <laughs> you go to YouTube and see lot of videos of mine are there, Dr. Khadar. And the titles are this. There is no connection at all. <laughs> but then YouTube, eye pickers, you know all these issues. So listen to them carefully. There are 
teasers there is two hours lectures half an hour lectures and various question and answers almost every question that you can conceive has been asked and answered a lot of time the one thing that comes up is oh millets are goitrogenous and thyroid problem increases and that is still making rounds in the <laughs> social media which is the stupidest thing that i can hear about because there are 28 thyroid patients now every part of the world and all of them have not eaten millets they don't even know millets so how is it that all the 28 people who have thyroid problem have not eaten millets and still they have thyroid in fact it is these five grains i have cured thousands of thyroid patients thousands and th i have no count in my clinic only i am so called homeopathy doctor every day i see 100 to 200 patients and most of them are cured every day so for the last 15 years just count the sheer number is mind boggling and afterwards i started going around almost karnataka and andhra in fact now i have to go out of the country many people are calling and i'm trying to accommodate all this and just eating these five grains everyone will start feeling better but now the task is to produce enough so i have to go to the villages and then make them in fact we have a small place i have transformed a seven acres um, infertile land into a forest and we have named as forest uh, jungle farming uh, in english in kannada kadu krushi antive telugu alli atavi krushi antive so how do we produce all these various wonderful uh, materials I have done lot of work and we have been uh, teaching lot of farmers and even techies who are interested to learn in fact, everyone should have the experience of how to grow how to process and without losing all the nutrients all those uh, lectures classes are conducted all over uh, and we, in fact we go to different villages and trying to demonstrate and teach the farmers because we want to give food to the whole world and we are trying to educate them not to have centralized models so you produce your food you process there you eat don't transport because transportation is actually 15 percent of the carbon footprint on this world because of this high-end transportation and logistics we are cre creating I, I hope you understand what is carbon footprint so 15 percent of carbon footprint is because of transportation so we also to develop a future model of the world we need to think of doing this logistics reverse so there should not be transportation as much as possible we need to cut down the transportation so how do we do that then we need to produce food there process there eat there so locally grown locally processed locally consumed and then little bit left then you need to go where there is no facility to produce so that kind of model that kind of world we need to envision and then start working at it so all these kinds of issues are on the table but the first issue is to produce the right food and eat right then become healthy once we become healthy i think we can actually deal with the problems much more efficiently so the first task for me to left uh, for me to address is how to make people healthy i'm not actually trying to cure your people i'm trying to think of how to make you healthy and to make you healthy i need to convince you guys that what you're eating is wrong and change the food and that's it so are you with me yes. have i made a dent in your consciousness that you are eating wrong and there is a need for you to change i am not saying that you are convinced completely but unless that there is a room and there is a different perspective of what you have convinced and you are living in that you, you didn't even think that there is something else that exists so if i have made that much dent into your minds and consciousness my job of visiting here is done and further if you think after another six months you need me to come back i will come back and but still then i i will wait and uh, the floor is open for questions um or you want me to speak some more about all these different things
cancer chart mm. to explain yeah yeah okay so we have actually got a list of different kinds of conditions that people are suffering from and the foods that you need to eat and then the kashayas that you need to make so how to make kashaya how to make food how to cook these things there's a list of things that you need to start educating yourself about and then again don't go to mayas and mtrs huh you start cooking you start making things happen in your kitchens and because we have now got no kitchens in the we have three bedroom and one hall and there no kitchen <laughs> in america and for you no kitchen because it's all taken up by mcdonald and uh, kfcs and you know what is kfc supplying you they have got meat thrown away meat rotten meat <coughs> they digest it and they separate it into amino acids and they have now got synthesizers with peptidases i have a wonderful program you guys have written it taka 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 and then amino acids are fed and then the rotation of this steel rod and the amino acids are taking and you got exactly like a kfc chicken so it is a synthesized meat from the rotten meat with the digesters and synthesizers and that's what is supplied to you in kfc because Five years ago, they were not able to make chicken properly, so they decided to do this, and that's how they're now. It is not Kentucky Fried Chicken. You cannot call it Kentucky Fried. It is KFC. That's all. It is not an acronym. It is just KFC because they had done that before. They didn't want to change it. So that's what you are all eating. It's all synthesized, <laughs> and McDonald is not far behind. They are also doing something very similar to that. so that's why these problems are cropping up more and more parkinsons more and more alzheimers more and more cancers so you want to get away from all this nonsense it is not food it's not people say junk food it's not junk food it is junk there is no food about it so be careful lot of issues are around and if you want good kids to be born if you want your health you don't want to go to doctors you start thinking about it and it is in your hands what you eat what you don't eat and conveniences come into play you got to get out of that convenience zone and then start doing something about your health lot of issues crop up and you need to creatively solve all these issues huh and it's not my job alone i i'm trying to create some systems that are completely different but everyone has to participate in this journey and then you can envision a world where there are no diseases and the future generations can happily talk the way i said oh there is there was some cancer there was some diabetes and that is very much possible if we all work together so a few of them will run through um yeah we'll go to cancer so called dreaded diseases they are just name for us actually you see cancer type stomach cancer skin cancer esophagus uterus liver blood prostate brain cancer in fact there was one techy um i don't know which company he had a bone cancer is mandible then the doctor said it has to be cut and then chemotherapy radiotherapy but then before that he was not able to eat because it's all stuck here it's grown here so they put a pipe and then he was being fed in that um so they came to me before the operation in 3 weeks their time was left so his parents got uh, him here he is 21 year old boy 23 i think 21 23 just finished and then got into some farm and so he had this and he was actually eating pizza burger drinking pepsi coke all that you know and um, he got into this and then they came and then we fed him uh, the bone cancer uh, ganji because he was not able to eat ganji ganji is porridge is the culture of human race food in the early days prehistoric times onwards they used to just collect the seeds and soak it and then cook it after overnight soaking they used to cook that is ganji so once ganji is made he was fed through the tube after 3 weeks he was able to move his mouth then he said we will postpone then 3 months later the bone cancer went away 
with all that kashayams and then after that he came back and again started eating pizza burger and <laughs> because many people think it's all just a medicine like thing we are done and we get back to normal food many gangrene patients after they get cured they come and ask sir can i go back to my normal food i said this is the normal food that you should eat <laughs> abnormal food is it see you get a disease and you think it is normal food then i cure the disease and you call this abnormal food <laughs> So he got back again. Then he came back running, and then I told him, "This boss, you are eating abnormal food. So you prove again that abnormal food gives the sickness again." Then again he transformed himself. Now he cooks and he eats. Just last 26th, he got married. Another tiki. They are happy now. They are cooking themselves, and in fact. <laughs> They are very happy, and um, he is from Nanjangudu area. He has actually now bought eight acres of uh, dry land, and in fact, he has got <coughs> to our farm and uh, stayed for one week and learnt. And now he is actually growing uh, these grains uh, himself. So I am so happy, and uh, he came and gave me the invitation um, last uh, six months back there. they came back and in fact uh, yesterday i received it's now only 7 months she is already pregnant <coughs> i said at least 2 3 years you have to wait after marrying before uh, to start producing baby but anyway <coughs> there are good things are happening and hundreds and thousands of people are actually i have to stop my phones nowadays in the last 2 3 years i cannot switch on my phone i cannot call my wife when i'm outside because so many calls i receive um but that's what is happening uh, i am very happy about it uh, and i am actually i think the happiest man on this planet earth right now because thousands and thousands of people are calling me and uh, they are expressing their gratitude and they are very happy and lot of special children this is uh, fits paralysis all these guys are being helped and uh, so i would urge you to go through this literature that is available on the net free you can just download pdfs and we are trying to um, make it better in next few 6 months because we have been learning lot of things um, and uh, i certainly believe that we have found and people like sridhar murthy have been helping us uh, in the last 3 4 years and he has been relentlessly working hard in the city it's easy for me to be outside the city and then do whatever i want but being in the city to do things that you need to do is lot more tough so that kind of job lot of people are helping and sridhar murthy has been up front uh, for a long time actually has been my close associate and uh, of course there is an element of business um, whatever you do in the bus- in the city the element of business comes into picture and that's okay and we need to change the businesses i am not against business but we need to change the businesses of the people of the future and uh, instead of doing business of medicine let us do business of millets thank you very much Uh, ladies and gentlemen um, uh, sir if you all of us uh, yeah, would you would, yeah no question and yeah yeah i think uh, most of the speakers are on there and those who want to take a questions uh, just press that mic but one at a time do not make a uh, complex yeah thank you ladies and gentlemen to go first yeah this gentleman uh, thank you sir we already formed just a little diff- sir can i speak in hindi రూల్ బట్ దెన్ ద రూల్ హాస్ బీన్ బ్రోకన్ బై దిస్ సో కాల్ డాక్టర్స్ యూ కెన్ ఫీడ్ యువర్ బేబీ టూ వీక్స్ like that that time but it's 9 months you need to feed your baby don't feed anything other than mother's milk 9 months minimum 
and after that if you have enough milk you can keep continuing to feed the baby till the age of two years but then you can start feeding them first thing annaprasa is done in our uh, olden days onwards is a same that is a little millet so you give one week little millet one week arka one week korle one week navne like that five grains each week you have to change don't give the same food for the baby the more diversified foods you expose your kid in the early stages the better his or her immunity is towards fighting all the diseases so don't stick to one thing for your babies keep giving different vegetables different leaves different grains different dicotyledon and bedel so everything has to be different 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 so the problem with all of us is we are stuck to convenience so one thing you make keep giving the same thing because we are all used to drinking coffee in the morning so we start feeding the baby also coffee <laughs> please don't do this mistakes so feed your baby various kinds of things because the body has to be exposed to different kinds of antigens so that the body starts making antibodies hence your immunity increases so this is the science of it so the more diversified the more immunity you provide by and of course you give through your milk itself if you feed only your milk in the first 9 months your baby is already guaranteed to be healthy so this is the fundamental very good question please feed your babies after 9 months and to have good supply of milk there is a protocol of food materials if we feed yourself the lactating mother you have to feed yourself with barnyard millet kodo millet then bob brown top millet they give you more milk and fox tail millet in some women tends to decrease the milk so the lactating mothers first 6 months you avoid fox tail millet eat less of it instead of 3 4 days in a week you eat maybe once in 20 days or 30 days that's all the remaining four millets are very good lactating especially barnyard millet that is woodlu is very good to give you lactation and then pearl millet in the neutral millets there is called pearl millet sajje that is also wonderful to produce more milk for you and then the leaves subsigia soppu is very good lactating and mint leaves is also very good for you and then drumstick leaves moringa leaves are very good lactating and the curry leaves and then the vegetables you have nool kol uh, you have uh, beetroot you have uh, tondekai tondekai what do you call it small pumpkin like thing tondekai and then you have fruits in the fruits you have nerle hannu nerle is jambu mm -hmm. jambu fruit is very very good for lactating mothers so like this we have identified and it is there in the literature so these mothers and especially garlic is very good for lactating mothers and all these kinds of <coughs> literature is produced and you can look for them and then make your life easy a good question thank you sir sir i have been following you and be meeting all this um, may not be completely but in a small amount yeah, i am happy we will give her a slap <laughs> very good i am so happy if not completely you have made the beginning yes sir yeah. definitely i have one question i have seen most of your videos and here as well uh, there is like um, related to sugar and so many other things but what about tsh elevation tsh ah tsh uh, the same question thyroid problems <laughs> the thyroid problems are very simple it's all connected to your milk and the steroidal imbalance and so if you stop milk your tsh starts getting corrected and if you stop coffee tea it gets easier i don't take much uh, much is something <laughs> 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 this is what i said early in one cup of coffee <laughs> that's enough no you just need to stop completely but then it still without all these troubles we have a protocol for thyroid patients you need to eat little millet 3 days and the remaining four kannada kannada little millet is called sama sama samalo telugu okay uh we eat little millet 3 days i'll just finish the protocol 3 days of little millet remaining 4 millets each day one one 7 day cycle and then 
I didn't speak much about oils. Um, maybe you have listened to my lectures. Oils, uh, coconut milk, uh, coconut oil is very good. So early in the morning, but we have been brainwashed that oils are bad for you. The coconut oil, cholesterol, you know, groundnut oil is not good for you. Only everyone has to eat olive oil. Where is the olive tree? <laughs> The whole world wants to avoid uh, olive oil. Nonsense. <laughs> it's all business. And there is no olive oil there. It's all the... Uh, nam, uh, all diesel uh, mineral oils they are filling up and then making us believe that you have sun pure uh, sunflower oil, sun pure rice brine oil, sun pure this oil, that oil. There is no real oils there. The real oils are wherever you are living, that area produces some oily materials like coconut, tillo groundnut, safflower and then niger seeds all these are oily materials that you have and coconut oil and till oil alternate weeks you drink two to three spoons your thyroid gets cleaned up because many of these glands are made of fat material so you have to clean them up with fat only because the kalmashas that are stuck there can be cleaned with only fat because the fat soluble water soluble so water soluble things anyway gets cleaned up but then fat soluble kalmashas the toxins have to be cleaned with fat only so early in the morning when your body is empty you drink two to three spoons of coconut oil one week the next week till oil next week groundnut oil then within nine weeks your system gets corrected most of the patients thyroid patients start seeing the corrections happening even if actually I have many patients with the TSH 150 in nine weeks it comes to 50 the next nine weeks it comes to 40 then as the things come down it takes more time so generally six months to two years almost every thyroid patient corrects himself or herself absolutely no problems at all uh, yeah, thyroxine, eltroxine, and this is a good question. Not only thyroxine, eltroxine, lot of people, SLE people, multiple sclerosis, they're all addicted to steroids. And to remove steroids, it is very tough. Though it doesn't do any help, but to get de-addicted is a big problem because we are all used to them, the chemicals. So the simple thing to do is, every six weeks, you remove 25%. Say now you are taking... 10 milligrams of Isolon, that is regular steroid tablets that are given for many uh, immunity problems like autoimmune diseases. So 10 milligrams of Isolon you are taking today, 10 tomorrow and then 10 next today. So what you need to do is take 10 milligrams today, take 5 milligrams tomorrow, take 10 milligrams day of tomorrow, take 5 milligrams. So you have reduced out of 20 milligrams per two days, you are now taking 15 milligrams. So after three or four weeks, now you take five milligrams, five milligrams, five milligrams, five milligrams. Now you have got to 50% in next four weeks. And then again, instead of five milligrams and five milligrams, take 2.5 milligrams, five milligrams, 2.5 milligrams. So slowly and steadily, every three weeks, you keep reducing 25%. Over a period of six months, you will get rid of your tablets out of your body. Whether it is diabetes, whether it is cancer, whether it is SLE, whether it is anything. In fact, nowadays for everything people take it, migraine headache every day. In fact, they have Gande Bharata. If you don't take citrazine, you will start scratching your body all over. If you just touch something, now I touched accidentally, that little pressure creates autoimmune shock. And then I start creating Gande and start creating. Or some, some fellows start sneezing. Some fellows starts getting headache. So all these problems, people are addicted to some tablet or the other. And the way to get out of it is this particular fashion. And some people actually have taken so much tablets that for them it doesn't matter. <laughs> so they leave everything. In fact, this has happened for a blood cancer girl, 16 year old. Every three days they were injecting the hemoglobin because blood it keeps degenerating and they were giving medicines also each time they give they had to give 10,000 rupees tablet for month so at the end of the day they lost their money I mean they don't have enough money so they gave up they stopped totally 
all at a sudden because they don't have money. Then they followed this blood cancer protocol. Within six days, her blood started stabilizing. In six weeks, they didn't need to give her transfusion of the blood. Six months later, she appeared in my house. She is from Kakinada. So she was not able to get up from the bed. And now after six months, they just brought her to thank me. I said, I cannot see you. Said, no, don't see me because I am tightly scheduled. We just wanted to thank you. Like that, almost every day for me, 10 people come. We don't want your appointment. We just want to thank you. So that's the kind of situation that exists now. And you can come out of this diseases. You don't need any doctor, basically. Already they have given you enough tablets. They cannot do more. So you need to come out of that. Just come out of it slowly and steadily because the de-addiction process can create shocks in your body. So do it slowly, sir. Uh, figure out what food has your vitamin E and actually that table we have got skin diseases what to eat what kashayam to drink so all that job is done you just have to go to that particular table figure out what you need to eat you can eat no i want to eliminate my clinic <laughs> and that so you want to come to clinic don't come to clinics it's not medication yeah Exactly, exactly. I want people not to go to clinics. You have gone enough clinics. <laughs> Whether it is Kadars or someone's, it is a clinic. <laughs> yeah, I have been trying to put all the advice onto the net and onto my lectures because um, it's tough to go to clinics. It's, you know, it's, it's easy for me to tell you, come to my store. But it's not that easy. Yeah. And uh, what's your name? Shashi. Shashi has all the information. You can just WhatsApp to his number. You can flood his phone. <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, he will send you all the information. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I think uh, we are running out of time. And uh, uh, I'm sure that you know a lot of people have multiple questions. But uh, uh, you know, uh, as I know, I want to answer in... one more question. Yeah. If I have multiple diseases, I have thyroid, I have cancer, I have this, what do we do? What about epilepsy? Yeah, fits. Together. What do we do? All five together. There are cases, we have hundreds of such cases. So the simple thing I am asking them to do is very, very simple. Eat all the five grains every two days, ten day cycle. And start first six weeks with ganji. As I told you, ganji is wonderful. Soak them in the night, cook them in the morning. And then don't drink then. Keep it till the evening. When you keep it, further fermentation process begins. It becomes much more powerful as healing food. But don't keep beyond 8 hours. Okay? So morning you cook, drink in the evening. And then cook in the night, which you have soaked in the morning. And drink in the morning. So if you follow this cycle for 6 weeks, almost all diseases settle down. Next 6 weeks you start feeling the health. And most of them you can start ticking away. And with that, follow coconut oil, groundnut oil, till oil. And there is one more oil called Verinuval None, that is Niger seeds oil, which is not available right now. In fact, that fits and the attention deficit syndrome and madness. Actually, we have cured a case where the boy is mad. He will take knife and starts stabbing his mother and I mean, that kind of fits, I mean anger fits he gets into. Even such kids are now cured completely with this treatment. So, almost everything is possible. Almost everything is possible. As I told you, cancer patients were about to die, gangrene patients were about to get cut. All that is completely given. The information is fully tabulated. And most of the things, you have to keep trying to get it and then get yourself well. Uh, thank thank you. you, sir.